Hey everyone, it's not often you hear the left-wing news media saying something positive about the Prime Minister, but this week they were simply reporting that Boris had tested positive for coronavirus. Therefore, he'll be working from home for the next couple of weeks, which is pretty convenient as his office, the cabinet room, is just down the hallway from his bedroom. You have to admire the irony, really, about all Boris apparently not having used enough Johnson's baby wipes to clean his hands. Although it does show the dangers of saying things like you'd rather be seen dead in a ditch than shake hands with Michel Barnier, who has of course also tested positive for coronavirus. Mara certainly plays no regard for class or wealth or position. You know, Prince Charles also tested positive this week, and seeing as the coronavirus derives its name from the Latin word for crown, you have to wonder whether this will be the closest Charles is going to get to a crown. Nonetheless, as with the Prime Minister, he's going to be working from home too, although I use the word working in the very loosest possible sense, unless he's planning to get his staff to put ribbons around the doors of the palace for to cut open as he moves about the place. Elsewhere, what's been going on though? Well, Russia announced their first coronavirus death, a man presumably by the name of Ivor Chestikov. The man was also put on trial for stealing toilet paper, and when asked by the judge how he pleaded, he said, not quilty. Oh dear, it appears as if I'm trapped in the midst of a pandemic. Pandemic, get it? Anyway, getting back to business, I suppose, I should probably save those terrible jokes for future weeks, as it seems this is going to be going on until at least this summer. In the meantime, they'll stay safe and try to be optimistic. One ray of sunshine I thought this week was when I heard some civil servant mentioning the term ration books. And I thought, isn't it wonderful that in spite of the internet and dumbing down a society, people are still reading enough books that they're going to have to start rationing the things. Anyway, see you next week. Let these click subscribe.